Hello, everyone. So uh, welcome to our workshop. Um, so Renpy is a visual novel engine that created many fan favorites and famous games such as Doki Doki Literature Club. It makes use of Python and uh, you'll get to learn how to make your very own visual novel and present it today. So um, let's see what we're going to make today. So this is the Renpy launcher. I'm just going to launch a project and this is the example um, we're going to teach you today. Yeah. So here uh, we have our character green and um, some images and a choice that um, you can let the user make. And that is what we're going to make today. So uh, before we start, we need to make sure that um, everyone has downloaded um, a few things, including the Renpy software. You need it uh, today. It's quite essential, so you should download it now. Uh, you can click the links in the chat sent by Shen Pei to download the latest version. And all you need to do is to follow the installation instructions. Please also make sure you have downloaded your sample sprites for the next part of this workshop. It is also important to download a text editor if you don't have one. It is recommended to use Visual Studio Code, Atomus, or even Notepad++. But today, I'll be showing Visual Studio Code. So uh, if you haven't done either or even both, we'll be giving you some time to do so now. And for the rest of you, you can go ahead and uh, explore RenPy, whether it is its short tutorial or even messing around and trying to make your own visual novel first. Uh, it is extremely important for you to have all of these downloaded. So uh, do make sure you have all of these items. And um, I'll come back at 9.15. So during this five minutes, please go ahead and download everything.
Hello. Um, is anyone still downloading? Uh, if you are, raise your hand. Use the Zoom function. Okay. So I shall move on. Uh, oh, okay. I'll wait for a little bit. Lower your hand when you're done. Hi, I think I'll move on now. If you're facing any problems, you can uh, message Champagne. Okay. Yeah, so um, 
now that most of you have downloaded uh, the required stuff, um, I'll be going through how to use VanPy. Now, before I properly start by creating our own project, I would just like to remind all of you that you can stop me or Shampei at any time. If you're not clear on anything, you can raise your hand in Zoom or unmute yourself uh, or chat, anything. So um, now we shall begin. So let's create our own project. Uh, you can click this button here. Um, if you go to your Ren Pi, um, I will be doing it at the same time. I'll be calling it Among Us. <laughs> and then um, for the basic customization, I'll just choose the base, basic ones. So yes, it should look something like this. However, sometimes um, it does ask you um, where you would like to create the folders. And um, I recommend just putting it uh, in the folder with VanPy and the long numbers. So um, we'll also learn how to import images for our novel. Um, but this slide first teaches you like, um, this is your different games and your Python script, your images um, folder, and this is how you play the game. So in order to import images, you can go back to the, the launcher and click on images, and it should bring you to this folder. So right now it is empty, but um, if you go here, um, this is the download files from the Google Drive, and you can just copy paste them in and um, the game should register most of it. And please note, uh, yes, do, do you have a question? Okay, I shall just move on. Uh, okay, so here the game should register um, these images. Uh, important to take note is that uh, it should be in PNG so that it will look nice and the game can also register it. Um, it doesn't really like JPEG. So, and if you want to change the main menu uh, image, you can go to GUI. Um, you can also access it from the uh, launcher. So if you just copy paste, replace the original main menu, then uh, the game should display it um, when you launched it. Yeah. So right now, I'll be passing my time to Shanpei to talk about the differences between Python syntax and Renpy's uh, coding style. Hi guys, I'm Shanpei. So now we're just going through some of these differences between Python and Renpy. Because as most of you might know, like Renpy is actually like use, using like Python. It's like model after Python. But yeah, there's like quite a few differences. So first of all, we have like functions. So in Python, you use the word define. And then in RenPy, you like have to like type it out. And then the syntax kind of looks like this, the code cell at the bottom. And moving on, we have if else statements, or like conditional statements. So in Python, you use if, elif, and else. And then in RenPy, you start with menu and then colon. And then after that, you can put the different options in. So it will just go like, line by line. So like you'll go through the first statement first and then the next statement. Yeah. And lastly, we have variables, which is in Python, you just like write a variable name and then assign the like value, which, which in this case of a visual novel will probably be mostly strings. So in RenPy, you use the word label and then after that, the name of like the variable you want. And then after that, you can like just put all your strings in. Passing my time back to Jessica. Yep. Okay. So now we are going to start coding on Python. Uh, you can click on script.rpy from your Venpy launcher. And um, please open it now so that you can follow along.
So what is the most important part of a visual novel? Is the characters. So we must know how to define our characters in a visual novel. We are going to make our own character, green, defined as G. This is an important algorithm as it consists of two attributes and putting it into a single letter. Here, the name of the character and the color of the character when it speaks will be displayed when we use G. You can follow along by adding this into your own script or RPY. I shall just leave this on the screen for a short while. Okay, so next, let us go through how to create the first scene. This will be our main program. Using the function label start, it will allow us to code for our first scene. In Python, an indentation is extremely important to show which codes are part of a function, especially for functions that require a colon as such, as you, as you can see here for label start. Uh, we can start with our background, scene BG space, it will display the background with fade, the animation. Uh, we can add a simple line for introductions and we can add it in inverted commas, just like a string in Python. Pause is a function, uh, if you see on line 15, uh, already coded in VanPy to wait for the user's input in order to continue. Now, another important function is showing our character. Show and put the name of the image after to display the sprite on top of the background. At this point of time, um, if you run this code, you should be able to get the fun part of the example. Um, is anyone facing any issues? You can try it out right now. I'll go ahead and launch it. If you're facing any issues, raise your hand in the next minute or so. Okay, perhaps um, I will just uh, show you how it should look like. So this is the part that we have done. Um, if you have Python connected, yes, you do have the squiggly lines, but it's fine because um, it's for RenPy. And here, if I go here, script.rpy, this is how it should look like. Um, you can just delete all of this. It, you're not going to use them. Um, and if you use this, and if you save it, um, if you launch, it should look like this. This is what you should be getting so far. Um, then if you have any forms, just, wait, are they allowed to unmute? Um, if you can unmute, you can unmute, or you can uh, chat, yes. Okay, never mind. I'll just uh, move on first. Dylan, you can message either of us. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about choices. I, um, 
no visual novel is fun. It is just linear. We have to add choices. So here, you can see menu, which is the decision-making part of the visual novel. There are three yes. options users get to choose from um, in this example. And based on the input, the program will direct the visual novel to the outcome displayed here using jump. As you can see, That's indentation. Awesome. Sorry? Can you go back to like how to throw the images into the game? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll just... um. I'll just show it through here. Um, if you click on images here, you have a blank folder at first. Um, I can just delete and then, oh, okay. Uh, okay, but the idea is that as long as you put the images inside here, um, we have renamed it for you such that Vampire should be able to recognize it. Um, it should work. Yes. Um, any questions? Uh, see, I hope that solves your question. Sorry? Uh, it was a participant asked. Okay. You can go back to menu now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so yes, indentation is important yet again to see which parts of the code is part of the menu function and which part is uh, the jump part. So here at label meeting, this is the outcomes of what the user choose. So after that, the return will end the function so that it will not enter another outcome function. And the last return here at line 42, um, is where the visual novel will end. Now, if you run the code, you should be able to get a full novel with your choices, just like the example showed at the beginning. Um, please try it out right now. And if you have any problems, unmute yourself. As you can see here, this is the code if you need a reference. So this is the choice part that I just went through. And this is what you should be getting. Okay, so I assume uh, most of you are fine. And now I'll be passing my time to Shen Pei and she'll be talking about computational thinking. Okay, now I'll be going through this, which is computational thinking. So basically the idea of computational thinking is like trying to make something very complex break it down and like make it easier. So the two steps that we have here are pattern recognition and decomposition. So for pattern recognition, like if we don't simplify the code, like using the normal Rampai syntax, it looks something like this. So the character's name is Eileen, and then the words like, welcome to the workshop and I hope you're having fun is the lines for Eileen. So if we didn't define the character under like decomposition, then we will have to type out the name of the character every single time. So the pattern recognition, the pattern that we have recognized is typing out the name of the character. So under decomposition, we have how we define the character as how we did it just now. So basically, right, define, and then you give the character a nickname, like a letter M for the character Monica, which is a DDLC reference, if you get it. So then after that, the new and improved code is you just type M and then you just type their lines, which is you're still not hung over, over it, right? And I really like the sound of rain. Yeah, and that's all for computational thinking. Hi everyone, we're gonna get um, you guys to start presenting now. So you can go ahead and screen share right now. Um, so Gwenwin, you're up. You can unmute first, then I'll stop screen sharing.
Okay. Gregory, now you're able to screen share. Hi, Gwenwin. Are you able to screen share? If not... We'll... Yeah, but, but I don't know how to make... Like, I added some code and it doesn't work, so... Yeah. Uh, it's okay. You can just screen share and show us first. Um, we can try to solve it. Okay. Uh, I just like to see it. Yep. I please please screen share now. It's okay if your code is wrong. Like it's legit fine. Like if not, um, in the next minute or so, we'll just move on. Okay, thank you. The menu block is supposed to be like. Unindented. Okay, so so what do I how, how do I make uh, this line, work? Line thirty four, and yeah. then menu, yeah. Wait, so it's after this, then it goes to here. It just works like this. Yep. Okay, I. Can okay, you try and run first? Okay, yay. It works. Thank you. And this is all I did because I was trying to like set it up that that time. Okay, a good try. Hey, do you want to show us the like final or like? Wait, oh, is this can... being shared? Oh no, you're only sharing oh. your visual signal. Okay. Um... I think it's easier if you just share the entire screen. Yeah. Wait, can this be seen? Yep. Okay, so I I restart. Oops. Okay, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, let's get the next person to share. So next on the list is Dylan. Dylan, are you around? Please like unmute. Yep. Wait, yeah. Will you be able to screen share your code? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I, um, I'm actually getting like an error that I don't know how to solve. It's okay, you can show us.
Yeah, I'm gonna send like the order inside the chat. Oh, wait, so, um, how do I screenshot on Zoom? Um, click the green button. You should have the permissions. Okay, great. Wait, could you zoom in a bit? Because you're using dark mode, it's quite hard to see. Um, it's still quite small. Okay, which line are you getting error? I, I think line two. Two? Yeah. This, this, this part here. What, what module is typing? I, I'm not really sure. I just try to like copy this and like create something new. What well, if your error is in line two? That means that like, that it's having issues importing your module, your stuff from your module. Uh -huh. Okay, where are you using typing? If it's like not necessary, I think you could just delete it. Wait, wait, what? Wait, I didn't send typing. Like, I didn't import typing. Oh. All right. All right, thanks. Okay, maybe you could try. You should run now. Is it running? Maybe you want to screen share your whole screen. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have enough brackets. Or too many brackets, yeah. Okay, did you make any modifications to the script that Jessica sent? No, I think uh, he I... added on a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Reload. Yeah. Oh dear. Um. Oh yes, you okay. Um maybe you could delete the fun part, like the first part that or like you could just change the name of start to something else. I mean can start from main to love or anything. I just yeah, can oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah, just throw half your code away. Uh, yeah. Like comment it out. Yay! Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, no cursing. Um Wait, I got no no bear. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wait, wait, change it back to start. Change start to back to start. Oh, don't have start to, yeah. Try like that, yeah. We have to try and move on quickly so that we can get to where everybody's going. Okay, I... I... I think it works now. Okay, yeah, and show you it all or no? Nah? Uh, nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, be shy. Okay. Does anyone have like their code running and like want to present first? 
You can just use raise hand or thumbs up or whatever. Um, Grace, yeah, go ahead. Would you like to just like talk through your book? I right, like your visual novel. Cute. Cute, I approve. Call for backup. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Very cute, thank you. We have Jesse who also raised her. Renzi, you can share your screen. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I think I broke it. <laughs> it's okay. It's supposed to change the, the background. Uh, yeah, some, sometimes backgrounds have issues, but you want to show the code? Uh, okay. No, 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 just continue, just continue. Uh, Thanks. Okay. So, so if you kill orange, you will like lose. Ooh, uh, nice, nice use of dialogue. You, yeah. hmm? Nice use but, of dialogue. Uh, that, my dialogue. Yeah. I think you can like, like if you have more time, mm. then you can like change the positioning so they can be like side to side, side by side. I, I do not know how to do that. <laughs> is yeah, is there a possible if you way like to do to. that? Yep. Because like by default, okay, it's like how, center. How uh, I need to check. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Brown up. So many things. <laughs> And then it like loops back again. Ah. Precaution. <laughs> wow. And then it just repeats again. So it will so you will only be able to lose. <laughs> okay. Nice. Downward spiral of darkness. Okay. So I think we'll go back to the list now. Unless anyone else wants to share their book. Like you can use raise hand. Okay, if not, we can move on to Jack, maybe. Is there a Jack? Might have left. Oh. Hi, is Jack here? No, okay. Okay, so we move on to Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Do you want a screen share? Okay. Nice. Do you have background or is it just? Like, no, I didn't add anything. Uh, nice use of um, dark humor and option. Yeah, good job. You have anything else to add? No. Okay, I guess we'll move on. Um, Colin. Is there a Colin? Is there a Colin? Hmm. 
If not, um, maybe Joshna. Uh, Josh, now are you here? Okay, um, I guess we'll skip first. Okay, hi, Gareth. Do you want to share your visual novel? You, okay, you probably spend most of your time importing the picture. Do you have okay. any? Did the whole code run? Ah, uh, you want to show your code, maybe? Hmm. Oh, you need to indent the everything after label start. Right, champagne. I can't see. Oh. Okay, so uh press you highlight line seven to seventeen and then you press tab. Yes, and it should work. Save it and then run it. Yeah. Tab characters. Champing. Wait, um, you didn't block the admin just something just now. Um, you wanna, okay, Gav, do you wanna close this window? I'll just have a last look at the code. If you are using Visual Studio Code, click on spaces for button and click in then using spaces. Line seven, label start. Wait. Were you doing the tab error just now also? Yeah, ho hopefully this works. Oh, yay, nice. Okay, not bad. Like the Thank character you. not loading. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it happened. Probably type the naming convention. It's okay. Um, we shall move on to Daniel. Yeah, hello. Hello. Um, Share wanna, screen. Yeah, just want to preface this by saying that I do not play visual novels. So, you know, make of that what you will. Okay. Creative, yeah. Creative expression and freedom. Wow, very nice. Yeah, it's the best menu screen I've ever seen. Piece. Just choose an option. Um, okay, the last one. Okay, so 
to. Can she say this is a masterpiece? <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm I'm very impressed that all the images worked, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Yes. You don't need the code? Um yeah, we can I think have... since it's running fine, like yeah. I mean we can have a look, a short look, yeah. I tried to do the like, the custom coordinates. Like oh the nice. Ones, but yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Oh man. I mean, there's some like shortcuts like left, right, and center or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think we will have Vincent um, present. Hello. Hello. Oh, God. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> is this a really simple one? It's okay. Yeah, it's just like a... that's it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. A great first attempt. Yeah. Please come back and beef it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Next one, maybe Alan. Uh yeah, just give me one minute, cause uh. Wait. Uh. Hmm. Okay, hopefully this works. If I can get it to work, just double checking that it works first. It's okay, you can just share. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, share screen, right? Okay. Um, okay. I know it's called test one, but I couldn't be bothered to write a better name. Uh, you guys can see it, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. It's so sad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Drink bubble tea. Okay. Oh. Okay. But what if I click something else? If I click yes, <laughs> yay. <laughs> oh, dating soon, but your girlfriend died. Okay. All right. That's, that, I, I think that's all. Okay. Yes, it's your natural. I play a lot of visual novels, so... Yeah. I see. Okay. <laughs> yes, why would you put Geom? Cause pain and death. Alright, okay. Next one, <laughs> Zulu. Oops, my bad, my bad. Hi, Zulu. From Diamond High. Oh. It's okay, you can screen share first. Okay. Uh, then it doesn't work. Try running on run pie. All right, run, run this code first. Uh, like I want to, what what I did is I want to show that there's an imposter after saying you are sus, but this doesn't work. Then this one also doesn't work. Then I don't know how to show the image. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
Can you show us your images, Paul? Uh, okay. I'm trying to show this one. I'll just show the screen. Then if I launch it, then you say this. How about if you put the show before the line? Nope. Oh, Sorry, that... I, I, I don't think we're too sure how to fix this. We are very sorry. <laughs> okay, never mind. Wait, why is it in a different color? Yeah, it's in gray for some reason. Actually, like, the grey part happened to me too, but like, it still works. Imposter is not... I make it a whole image, so because I go put a brown, a brown inside, yeah. So I wanted to show the whole image. Yeah, it's so super big. Maybe you could put it as BG. B uh, did I show the BG? Scene BG. Then you have to change the naming to BG space brown as uh, BG space in Boston. Where? <laughs> in your image as well. Uh, wait. Change which one to? Yeah, imposter, you change it to BG space imposter. Like, just add the word BG in front. Oh, Chinese. Like this? Yep. <coughs> and then, in the code, you write um, BG. Yeah, I can't remember. Just what is it? Uh, BG, a uh, scene BG imposter. Just like the one above. Hopefully this works, but if it doesn't, yeah. I will just delete the green mark. Oh. You remember to save your uh, visual code, right? How do you save it, actually? 
uh, control S. I think if this doesn't work, just move on. Yeah. Okay, let me just move on first. See whether anyone else in chat can help. Yeah, just move on. Yeah, this one is not working. Okay. All right, um, so if not, we, is Josh now around? Hi, Josh now. Hello, hello. Uh, so you are still sharing screen. Okay, and if not, then we'll move on to our last person, which is Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas can't okay. get his vampire working, so... Nicholas here? Oh, oh man. Yeah. Okay, then I guess we're all done. Okay, okay um, so uh, building blocks admins will be wrapping up now. Yeah. Yeah. So like good job everybody. Like I think everyone did really well. Like the dialogue options, like you're able to like learn and like adapt our code to like to like do your own visual novels. Like I hope that you learned something and then Maybe like if you're free, then you can like go on and like make more visual novels. You can even commercialize your visual novels and like make a, the next DDLC, you know? Yeah, Jess? Yes, thank you so much for listening today. I'm really happy to have all of you here. Hope you enjoyed it.